You know, when Jesus walked on the earth, he turned out to, he turned out to be more radical than any of us can actually absorb. He really didn't he really didn't go around claiming that he was a, an exceptional teacher, a good teacher, or um, a philosopher with a new kind of philosophy to help you see life in a different way. He really didn't claim uh, as he walked around that, hey, I'm this, this really great example uh, for you to I- emulate. You know, Jesus just walked around claiming to be God. Pretty radical stuff, in fact. More radical than uh, even that. And so, so his teaching is like peppered. It's, it's filled with uh, all kinds of radical demands for those who would follow him. For instance, it's stuff like he told an individual, okay, one thing you lack, go and sell everything you have and give it all to the poor. Um, he said to others, if you want to come after me, you've got to take up a cross. He said to others, if your eye makes you sin, pluck it out. Uh, he said, if you love your mother or father or children or, or, or parents more than me, you can't be my disciple. And so, and so that's why he said, look, if you're going, if you're going, to, if you're going to be a, a, a follower of mine, then you've got to really count the cost. But I think more radical, more radical than any of these that I have just listed... There is a little two-word radical statement that he makes that sounds so benign, but it turns out to be the most radical thing he would say. In fact, he repeated this little two-word radical demand more than 20 times in the Gospels. It's the little phrase, follow me. 